Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Archie Comics TMNT Adventures video, and today I am stoked. In fact, going forward, anytime we talk about Archie TMNT, I'm just going to be stoked because this is a character, a figure that I have wanted since I was a kid, and of course, I am talking about Belly Bomb. This is amazing. Also, stay tuned. Yes, this is how I found him on the shelf, and it's probably a reason why I found him on the shelf, and no, he is not missing paints. The sides of the box in every which way have gorgeous illustrations from the original Archie Comics illustrator Ken Mitchroni. The back of the packaging shows you more to come along with gorgeous photo shots of said belly bomb figure. The more to come is Dreadmon, which we've already had, Mondo Gecko, which is hitting store shelves now, and the Stump Wrestling Leatherhead. Can't wait for standard Mutanimals Leatherhead. Hopefully he'll be a coming soon. On the bottom side of the packaging, here is everyone associated with the creation of this figure. Thank you very much for this. Across the board, hands down, you nailed this. This is just the best. Just the best. You should all give yourselves high fives it's just a stellar job all the way around. And here's the barcode. Mine came from Target. He started to hit Walmart store shelves. He's been on the apps. I'll put links down in the description below in case you are still after him. Now, for those of you who are thoroughly confused at what you are looking at, Belly Bomb hails from the 90s Archie Comics TMNT Adventures series, specifically issues number 23 through 25. It was a mini three-issue arc, which sees... Slash and Krang team up in Dimension X on the planet of Morbus after Cherube banished Krang. And in the process of trying to escape said prison planet, Krang and Slash run into the character known as Smiley, a.k.a. Brack Curmudgeon, a.k.a. Belly Bomb, of which they help him promptly escape, take their ship, and head to Earth for Krang to wreak a terrible revenge, not only on the Turtles, but Shredder himself. And in the ensuing battle, along with... A pair of nudist colonied Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, typical insanity ensues with Krang and Belly Bomb eventually being taken back to Planet Morbus and dropped there, never to be seen again in the Archie Comics universe until the Tales of the TMNT comic issue number 58 entitled All Tomorrow's Yesterdays. Definitely check it out if you can. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, from the Archie Comics TMNT Adventures series, Belly Bomb by NECA Toys. And see, I told you, yeah, mine has paint. The eye was just flipped around. So if you run into that in the store, grab it. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging, along with my three original issues from the Archie TMNT run. I absolutely love the Archie Comics Turtles. They are my favorites. I could talk to you about it all day if you're interested down in the comments below. Belly Bomb comes with a ton of extra hands, which is nice. Largely just all pink hands, flesh-colored hands, but each of them have an eyeball in the center. That's kind of his whole shtick. He's got eyeball hands. Same thing with the fisted hands, which it's kind of like Crumb from Real Monsters in a way. And then lastly, you have some open hands, which you can hold various items, yada yada. So that's not too shabby at all. Now, to use that one trigger finger holding hand, you can use this awesome sci-fi TMNT weapon. It has all that amazing line work along with a little bit of comic book shading to it to make it look like it fell right out of the story. All the details are there and it has a little bit of a porthole on the front so if you have a blast effect that may fit, yeah, you can definitely use it at your discretion. And this particular gun is only seen on one page in that entire three issue arc. It's basically just Belly Bomb holding it as such, but you can definitely recreate that particular scene if you'd like. And for me, being as nerdy as I am for these TMNT old school comics, yeah, that means a lot to me. I mean, just for that alone, that is just so cool. Krang, the Archie Comics version of Krang, which is basically just Krang, but designed a little bit differently. You can see all the various comic book line art all over him, around the eyes, the mouth, the teeth. He's awesome. They did a great job with Krang. And he does have minimal articulation in his little tentacles, which works well when you want to hook him onto the back of your Archie Comics slash figure. And again, 
Much like Belly Bomb just walking with a gun, this is amazing to me. I'm geeking out. Just let me geek out. Everything's going to be fine. I really wish, though, that this was a head portrait. For those of you that know what I'm talking about, I'm sure most of you don't, but we'll talk about it anyways. In this three-issue arc, when Krang returns, he meets up with Shredder and, with the help of Belly Bomb, promptly takes over the Shredder's body. So, in that sense... Yeah, I would have loved to be able to swip swap heads with my Shredder figures, but I'm sure eventually we will get a Krangified Shredder. And now with Belly Bomb himself, and I'll save you some time in case it just wasn't coming across during this entire video up to this point. NECA Toys, to everyone involved with this figure, you absolutely nailed it. This is a gorgeous art piece. All of the detail is there. The colors just the look itself of Belly Bomb translated so well to action figure form. So give yourselves a pat on the back there. He even has all the proper segments, all the articulation that you would want out of his, well, for lack of a better word, foreskin looking neck. <laughs> He's kind of like an earthworm. Fine, we'll go that route. And his eyeball spins within the actual head, I guess you could call it. And it brings so much character to this toy. You can even flip it white if you'd like. But like I said, having it look every which way along with the articulation of the earthworm looking neck. Heck yeah, that's amazing. Go very easy with the horns. Those are something you want to protect. You don't want to fall off. Those will break off. Those are very sharp pieces as well. To the collar of his jacket, his very, we'll say 80s, 90s, uh, members only jackets <laughs> again all the line work you have these shackles right here which again they pay attention when they make toys over at NECA and you get to see it straight from the comic book slash releases him from said shackles you have the eyeballs within the open hands totally creepy totally weird the shoulders to the arms will articulate you have single jointed elbows they will spin and of course you have plenty of rotation in the hands he does have a waist swivel so that's nice to see the legs will kick out kick back he's got double jointed knees again go very easy he wasn't stuck but a little bit more stuck than recent NECA toys figures just saying peg holes on the bottom of his big clod hopper feet but I'm saving the best for last you know this is coming so in the middle, right there with those big old teeth and that mouth, that thing articulates to the nines. And I love that you can get it all the way closed, like the teeth are snapped shut, and you can open all the way up, and you can put your fingers in there, and you got the tongue. It's kind of like a real Ghostbusters figure. In fact, when I was opening it, I just thought of that immediately. I'm like, that's, that's such a fun ghost kind of monster figure. But for Belly Bomb, it totally works. And I think what's most fun for me is seeing this figure come to fruition over the last couple years, seeing it on display at various conventions, seeing just how they've kind of changed, tweaked, little things here and there, to now have the final product you see before you. So for that alone, that's amazing. Along with the eyeball that swivels every which way, they brought this character to life in so many amazing ways. And that again, to talk about the line work, the colors, the sculpt, the details, that is what NECA Toys brings to the TMNT franchise. And that's why they still make the absolute best TMNT offerings. Now, in terms of the scalature for Belly Bomb, I think that they nailed it. He's not supposed to be a giant, massive character. He's about the size of Shredder, taller than the Turtles, be able to hold Krang. I would say they did a great job here. No matter which versions of the cartoon TMNT you have, that could be a great substitute for anything Archie Comics. Despite the different art styles of the Archie universe, that would be the only difference, the only hiccup there. The cartoon TMNT are the Archie Turtles, no matter the skin color, you can go lighter, you can go darker, they all fit within that universe and they will look great with Belly Bomb, Slash, all of that, no matter which kind of shakeup of the universes that you wanna do. And that's the beauty of the cartoon and the Archie landscapes. Now, what is fun, again, is recreating, to a certain degree, comic book panels from this three issue arc. and. With the recent Donatello bow staff, yes, you can get halfway there. I would have loved to have seen some mega halitosis breath somehow, some way. Maybe, just maybe, if they ever do another belly bomb figure, 
they could throw that in there. Because keep in mind, on the front cover of the TMNT Adventures series, number 25, Belly Bomb is blue. In fact, all of the colors are different on him. He has blue skin. He has a dark brown eye. He has a purple jacket. He's got khaki pants. Negatoys, you know you want to make it, and you knows I wants it. So that is going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Negatoys from their Archie Comics TMNT Adventures line, Belly Bomb. They nailed it. They rocked it. This is an amazing toy. And not just because I love it. It's because of the ingenuity, having the articulation of the mouth, having the eyes. Again, putting all the necessary articulation in the arms, the legs, everything else, having the gun, swap out hands. It's all you really need. Some mega halitosis breath. Sure, that would have been great to see. But hey, do the inverted colors from that cover and we'll, we'll call it even there. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Belly Bomb, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, keep on bringing on the Archies. And if you stay tuned this week, I'm sure we'll see some more. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.